And today we have a beautiful picture of that. And we're going to hear about Brother Drew Lewis's testimony. And I would encourage you to celebrate with thunderous praise as we raise him up from the water, symbolizing him being risen to walk in newness of life for the glory of God. So Drew, come on. Man. Good morning, church. Good morning. I grew up in a Christian home and have always known the right and wrong things to say when it ever came to talking about the Bible. I never really understood repentance or had a full grasp on what the gospel was and all that it meant. Even with my Christian upbringing, looking back, I was never truly saved and my life never produced consistent fruit. From the age of 17 to 21, I was chasing two idols in my life, my relationship and my love of money, both of which led me down a dark path. Jonah 2.8 says, those who pay regard to vain idols forsake their hope of steadfast love. The winter of 2021, I made a trip to Florida to see my two best friends, Andrew Debrescu and Riley Gebhards. Little did I know that the Lord would use this trip to change my life. Taking personal and spiritual responsibility for me, Andrew and Riley sat me down and pleaded with me to repent and give up my sin and turn to Christ. Only through the Lord's sovereign power and grace were my eyes finally opened to my sick pattern of sin, and through this, the Lord granted me the gift of salvation. Acts 26, 18 says to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. After this, I broke up with my girlfriend and pleaded with the Lord that he would forgive the things that I had done in the way that I was living. I went through a season of continued repentance and through that grew my love for him and his bride, the church. God since then has been sanctifying me through his word, being active in the 20s ministry, through meaningful Christian friendships, mentors, and serving his church. And I leave you with Isaiah 12 too. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Brother Drew, based on your clear profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, trusting in his imputed righteousness alone, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 